we finally made it to Florida. After leaving Wisconsin on October 30th and being snowed on in Indiana and then again in Tennessee, we're finally in warm weather and finally wearing shorts again. I love it. So this winter, we're going to be in the North Fort Myers area. Two years ago, we did stay in the Fort Myers area and we loved it. Warm every day and we thought, okay, we're going to plan ahead this year. So months ahead, we actually started trying to book for the winter and we were surprised and probably shouldn't have been, but everybody was full, every place that we called. So we did end up getting on some waiting lists and finally got a call from um, Upriver RV Resort that uh, they just had openings. And a lot of it is because they just opened a new area that they just built. So this is the new section to the right. There's actually 57 new sites that opened just a month ago in October of 2019. So just to get the lay of the land as you're coming in, you can see the pickleballs to the left and right across the street from there is the pool area. More on that to come. So here we are about a month later. You can see we're getting full now, it's January. And they actually planted this palm tree by our site. You can see we're looking through our Magna Shade, which I highly recommend if you're gonna be in Florida. It really helps take down the radiant heat that comes through your windows. And they're still rolling in. Okay, let's go on a little tour of the place. So this is the new section. And here's the pool area. They actually have two pools. The odd-shaped one is newer, just a few years old. And they're both heated. Unfortunately, there's no hot tub. But every morning they do have aqua aerobics here, which Mark and I have been partaking in, and it's awesome. We love it. And they have a pickleball court, which is being resurfaced at this time. And right next to that is horseshoes, there's shuffleboard, there's bocce ball, and I'm telling you, in the morning, this place is active. And right across from all these activities is the office, which also houses the clubhouse. A lot of things happening in the clubhouse, too, with dances and dinners, breakfasts, and all kinds of card games and other things happening in the evenings. Good morning. It is a Saturday, and it's the first pancake breakfast here at Upriver uh, Resort. And we're running late, but I think we're still gonna be able to make it. Woo! It was a rough night last night. We went dancing. Went dancing down in Fort Myers to the third Friday Music Fest. Drank a lot of water, did a lot of dancing. And I'm hungover. And I, <laughs> I did editing until 1.30 in the morning. I didn't tell Sue that. Oh don't anybody write in and tell her. And so I got, I don't know, what, five hours sleep? Come on, we only got about 13 minutes to get to the pancake breakfast. Hurry up, Mark. Thank God, thank goodness. Pancakes, sausage, orange juice, coffee, Three dollars. Exactly what a retiree can afford. 
Mark, where is everybody? It's kind of empty behind Well, we, uh, this place operates on what's called upriver time. So we were exactly, I would say, about eight minutes early, which is about 15 minutes too late. So they're literally packing the place up <laughs> right when we walked in. But you get to eat. But we did a good deed because when we walked in, we were the two people that put them at their break-even point. So rather than give them six dollars, the Chan man oh gave God. them ten. So one of the things we learned at this resort is it's called upriver time. So when a venue like this starts at five o'clock, if you get there at 4.30, you're barely on time. At 4.31, you're a minute late. So we were here on time today because we learn from our mistakes. So you can teach an old dog new tricks. Anyway, back to our tour. There's a channel that actually comes into the RV resort and it's got park models all along it. So if you're one that's really into boating or kayaking or fishing, this really is a beautiful location. It's right on the Caloosahatchee River. Pretty nice. So last year, one of the things we did, you can pan over here, Sue. This power plant has warm feed waters that it feeds into a channel on the opposite side of the plant. And it's actually a nature preserve and it's called Manatee Park, I think. Right. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll get a chance to be in the right place at the right time when all the manatees come into town in the neighborhood of January or February when it's too cold for their normal habitat and they park inside that channel there and it's literally body to body. They're bigger than this rowboat in round, big giant, you know, portly animals and they're like one on top of each other. They're like hot dog wieners in a wiener pack in the, the <laughs> deli department. So uh, we're hoping we can catch that on film because we know how interesting that's going to be to yeah. everybody. There's a number of people here at the resort that own their own kayak, and they actually have a kayaking group that will go out from this launching area. They also sail off in other spots on the Caloosahatchee. Making yourself at home, Mark? Well, it's the 30th of November. And the season really doesn't start until January. So I'm thinking we're a little bit early for a drink. <laughs> From the looks of this tiki hut, yeah, yeah. nothing here. Yeah, I think in the, the key is going to be when they install a TV, you'll be good to go. Oh yeah, that would be a sign. There's one area that's a combination of park models and different kinds of RVs. There's also a storage area. With so many people that have boats here, you can store your boat or your trailer, and there's even RVs that are being stored back there. Then in the back area is another super site area just filled with huge RVs. All right, now that the tour is over, we decided to check out what's in the area. And we found just five minutes away is the Boathouse Tiki Bar and Grill, which actually became one of our favorite places to hang out. And now we're ready for the arrival of our friends Wendy and Jerry from Milwaukee. And we're heading back to the boathouse for a little relaxation until the crazy busyness of the week with them begins. All right, so here is Mark's drink, which is a nice normal size pina colada, which, you know, many people order that. What the heck is that? It's a it's party. I mean, it's this, a party bucket. Is that red strap go around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Makes like a it easy. Bag for a horse. <laughs> You're just yeah. hating me right now. Honey. Normally, a margarita is my drink of choice. Yes. So, but I decided to break out of the norm and try something different. Honey, why don't you introduce our guest here? 
We have been graced by the friendship of Wendy and Jerry came all the way from Wisconsin wow. to drink with us. So some of our previous viewers might recognize that they're stars from last time. <laughs> yeah, and with the hair. We've our Floridian we've, stars, yeah. We've tried to instruct Jerry to act a little bit more... Uh, Civil? <laughs> Civil, yeah. So what's cool about the boathouse is it has such a Caribbean feel to it with the tiki hut. But there's also a section where they've made up as kind of like a beach. And you're right on the Caloosahatchee River. You guys doing here? We're at the beach. We're grounding, honey. We're grounding. I thought you were in an RV park. I need to be grounded. Ah, wisely. Wisely have this guy over here. <laughs> Overshadowing. Take your shoes and socks off. You gotta ground. Now that we're all relaxed and rested, we're ready to start the next day with breakfast at one of our other favorite places to eat, the Buckingham Farms. And they're only 12 minutes away from the resort. Buckingham Farms is an 80 acre ranch and hydroponic farm. It has a country store and a farm-to-table restaurant. They're open for breakfast and lunch only, which is good by me. I love breakfast and lunch. So we're at the Buckingham Farms, but it's at a restaurant, cafe. And they've got their own garden outside, and we're going to tour that too. Look at all this produce. What are you, what are you going to do after you're done eating? Oh, we're just getting uh, ready, get all our energy up because we're going kayaking. Okay. Okay, hi. You're going to have to time lapse this because we don't have enough minutes on YouTube <laughs> to be able to get all the information. Yeah, I mean. Look at it. I got three in, but I'm only half done. A little, little coffee with your cream mar there, Mark? Five. All right. Final stretch. Okay, Jerry, you're going to go in and get your coffee? Two pumper. Oh, near the end. So Sue told me that I should come over and pick out one of these wonderful jams and spreads that was made at the Buckingham Farms here. And after studying them for quite a while, I finally picked the one that I thought would be great to have in the rig. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Let's get this one. Your plate, sir. Excellent. My plate. Your equipment. So what do you have there, Sue? This would be my bacon waffle. Okay. I actually had a smoothie this morning, so I had a hankering for waffles. And I had the same thing as Jerry. Jerry, what's that? I don't know, Mark. <laughs> what did you have? Yeah. <laughs> did you ask for the same thing? Something with the word hash. I mean, Wendy, I what it. did you get? Uh, the breakfast, create your own. Eggs, you know, fruit. Wow. Very Once good. again, me and Jerry had the unhealthiest thing. Well, I don't know. Okay, so I can't stand it anymore. I know my buddy Jerry here pretty good. And I've been sitting here trying to eat my meal, and you'll notice I've been eating my toast dry because I'm pretty hungry. But he, when he butters his bread, takes a slice and butters it 100.01%. There's always perfection with just a slight notch. Same technique with jelly. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta get it the... perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and don't try this at home because this is a lot more dangerous than it looks. <laughs> it really is. So if you guys ever want to channel Jerry at home, just mm. spend a half an hour. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. Mark, Mark, what? It's totally unacceptable. Jerry, look what he did. So I'd like to share with uh, some viewers now. I'm into my last piece of 
four slices. And I am getting better at this. Jerry's been giving me some tips. You'll notice the shape of this knife here is somewhat pointy and it allows you to draw the jelly <laughs> down to various abnormal features of your toast. Yeah. And you'll notice my pinky finger is up <laughs> slightly. Ooh. That allows for continued articulation of the jelly. And, you know, we don't want to bore you here, but you can tell, especially if Sue zooms in, that I am getting to the point where I am approaching 100% coverage mm. of the entire flat area here. Mm. And it isn't going to be too mm. long from now that I'm going to be wow. in competition uh -oh. with he Jerry. He is doing a good job. There it is. is. You got Look it. it. Look I, at I, was, I was looking See? at that. That yep. one spot, and you, 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 had <laughs> oh, oh, you got Jerry approval on that. Yeah, one. that was that thanks, was, Jerry. That's awesome. Yeah. You're going for it? Yeah. Can't hurry perfection. Oh. That's right. I mean, come on. Yeah, there there you go. Not even for show. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> play by play. See, there's a little little air pocket there. You gotta fill that in. <laughs> fill that in. The sad thing about this video is it's not that you people are watching it. Said Wendy has to put up with this every day. single day. Poor, poor Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't even like going out to breakfast where's my, because of that. Where's so my we dessert? Eat at home and then I yep. it. There you have it. Perfection. Right yep. I know. <laughs> Just the way jelly should be spread. And uh, as Wendy said, a little bit later, we're going to go to a place and we'll show you how he does it to corn. <laughs> oh my god, we need an hour. <laughs>